You have to smash these mystery boxes to see what's inside. I'm, I'm gonna get to smash. I get to smash. Today we're going to be unboxing five of these secret crush mystery boxes that have cute little figurines on the inside. These absolutely adorable mystery boxes were a little bit of everywhere and many of you grains were tagging me both on YouTube shorts and on TikTok. Now I don't know what to expect, but they are absolutely adorable. And if you look at the box itself, it looks like we get a smasher. That's a lollipop. And we're going to have to break the container in order to see See what we get on the inside. So you see it says crush to find me and then unwrap and build me. So I don't know how much of a crafting component is in there, but I really do hope these things are actual crafting and mystery boxes. That would be really cool. I'm really curious about the smasher though. I really want to smash with this. <laughs> smash. And if we look on Amazon, these were actually $10 US each. Now it's usually not too bad, but again, this is $10 US and I had to pay $10 for import plus $10 for shipping, which makes it $70 US. If we could, kitty editor, take out your kitty calculator and please go ahead and calculate $70 US to Canadian. Thank you. But when it comes to mystery boxes, these are technically not the most expensive we've paid for an actual figurine. Now what, wait, wait, the question is, is it good quality or does it go? You ready? Say it with me. <clears throat> In the trash. But again, looking at Amazon, they do look pretty adorable. I did notice we do have an ad, a video ad, so we're gonna have to watch that together. But before we do that, let me know which one of these figurines is your favorite. I will list them over here. You can see them on full screen. Let me know in the comment section below, which one do you hope we can get? I really want the one with the rainbow, I think it's slush on her head. I kind of want that one. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Yes, we have a sharp pointy thing. This is our love language. It is here not to scare you, but it's here to show you love. <laughs> we got all notifications while you're there. I wanted to say also a huge thank you to you greens for the absolute love that I got for the coloring book kit that we released last week. For those of you who don't know, we do have our own coloring book kit that has 22 gorgeous illustrations that was drawn by none other than Sarah Rose, who makes gorgeously Disney inspired type of elements. And our coloring pages are Disney meets villains and dragons. I mean, just look at a couple of those coloring pages. You know that the art is really fun. In addition, we've added the Viviva watercolors, but as you can see here, I had so much fun. I am no expert at watercolors, but I enjoyed doing watercolors with this kit. And even if you've never tried watercolors, there's no reason for you to enjoy something, even if you're not a professional at it. In addition to those 16 exclusive colors, you'll be getting 12 colored pencils, and these colors are so buttery. They go down on paper absolutely gorgeously. A custom washi tape in order to hold your watercolor paper down so that you can color on and not worry about too much warping. Water brushes to make painting a little bit cleaner. I'm not saying that it will be clean, but just a little bit. And if you prefer a digital version, we have that as well. I will link it down below and it is at musekids.com forward slash creatures of darkness. I've been absolutely loving seeing you grains tag me on the illustrations that you've colored in. Here are a couple of examples. I really do appreciate you sharing with me. It makes me so happy. So a huge thank you again to Muse Kids for making this possible by working with me and they know that we grains, we like the quality. All right, back to our regular programming. Now there technically are 10 to collect and we do have five of these. So let's hope we don't get any kind of double. So let's just start off by moving you and you. Can you give me a second? It's just I'm trying to move it, hang on. There you go. There you are. But before we move on, I do want to note that there are 418 reviews at 4.7 stars. So that is absolutely phenomenal. So I do definitely have some pretty high hopes on this. All right, so let's check out what the video is about. I can see a little baby squirrel. Is that, I haven't even pressed play yet. And it looks like we have a squirrel type character. Please tell me we have pets. Are there companions? I don't think so. This is a series two. Oh no. Did we miss a series one? Okay, let's watch the video. Oh. Okay, so we have a kitchen. Wait, that is not a commercial. That is an entire video. That's four minutes and 36 seconds. Let's fast forward a bit. Let's just let's just move it a little bit. That is a whole YouTube video. Okay, they're definitely looking at pets here. So I I want to know I want to know what's going. Oh my god. Okay, so they're smash. They're pat. Oh my god. That's a lot going on here. Okay, this is a whole skit. Now I don't think we need to watch the entire skit. Wow. Um, a hamster. What? Is there a series three? Is there something I need to? Is there? Do I need to buy more of these? Because I don't know what's going on. There's pets. Okay, I'm thinking this is probably a promo video for a completely different series. I'm gonna have to keep my eyes out. Wait. <gasps> oh my god, no. 
Okay, there is a Secret Crush Mini Pets, and they are $12.80 each. Oh my god, let's just look real quick. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's pets! What the heck? Okay, listen. If you want me to do the pets, make sure you leave a thumbs up and share the video. That way I really know that you want me to do this, because that's the only way I know. That's the YouTube universe. Everything works in shares and likes. I don't make the rules. I just hope you can help me with it. Okay, I want to do the pets so badly, but now we need to find out if the dollies are cute. So now it means we need to follow some instructions. So let's go ahead and open this. Because we got a sharp pointy thing and we need to open it. So, um, oh wait, there's tape. Do I even need a sharp pointy thing? I always do. Don't ever ask that question again. Don't ever. I had to interrupt myself. Don't I ever ask if I ever need a sharp pointy thing. The answer is yes, always. <laughs> Come on, open. Oh, okay. Oh, instructions. All right, so here's the container. Kind of looks like a little storage box that you can put all your crafty things in there or other sharp pointy things. I'm pretty sure it'll look cute on your desk. Let's see. So we do have a black and white instruction sheet. Feel free to pause if you do want to read it to tell me that I'm doing it wrong. It's totally fine. And here's what it looks like. Oh, oh, is that a spoiler? Let's not look at the spoiler. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right, so according to the instructions, it seems like we're going to be doing a little bit of crafting and putting together. So this is indeed a crafting collection mystery box. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the tape over here. Okay. And then these things, do I, it says to remove them. What do, do I need, what do I need? Oh, we need scissors. Where'd they go? Where'd my scissors go? I had them. Where are my scissors? One eternity later. I got them. Okay, you know what? This is kind of distracting me. <laughs> it is a really good tape though. Okay, these, these, you really want tiny scissors. So we get in there, remove this, voila. Yeah, you definitely need to have very strong hands for these. This is definitely not made for little ones. Oh goodness. <laughs> again and now we have to free the smasher over here this is oh i do not like this i do not like this this really hurts okay so we have our smasher which is a cute lollipop face they call it the hammer okay and we can open this voila and this is what we need to smash now i'm touching it it feels like silicone. You can see, oh, look at the design. It shows the little thing. I'm pretty sure if you push hard enough, I mean, if you have the strength to cut these things off, you can definitely break this here. If you push hard enough, you can definitely break it. Now, can it lift? You can lift it too. Wait, can you? Yes, yeah, you can definitely lift it. So if you don't want to smash, you could do that. That's not what we're doing. Okay, ready, set. What kind of arms do you need for this kit? Hello? Okay, there we go. Voila. Oh my gosh. This, I, I, it's kind of cool, but it's also kind of gimmicky. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. I think this might be a reveal to what character we're getting, but I didn't check too much, so I'm not sure. But interestingly enough, it does say, gather and keep the crushed shell pieces to use later. Now, I'm not sure what later for, but we're gonna check. So we're going to put this aside. Oh, wow, these are sharp. Yeah, you have to be careful with these. These are actually pretty sharp, and I'm pretty sure I could hurt myself with this. Ooh. There's some danger there. There's some danger. Hopefully the product makes up for the uh, beginning. I'm just saying. Okay, we're gonna move these over here and we'll see what they're actually used for. So the first thing we see are some beads. So it says we can take the beads out and move them for now. How do I do this? How do I do this? Is that an axolotl? Wait a minute. Everything in this kit is just so aggressive. I have to use so much force. Oh, it's, it's not an axolotl. It's a candy wrapper. I don't know why my mind was thinking of axolotls. Actually, you know what? Probably because I played an axolotl game over on my gaming channel. If you haven't joined us on our gaming channel, make sure that you do. We do have fun streaming and playing and join us over there. It makes me so much happier to see you greens over there as well. Okay, so we have this. Cute. I have to say, the branding is really cute though. And in here, oh wow. One, two, three, Four surprises, okay. Oh, and we have, oh, this is the collector's guide. Okay, so here we have the collect, oh my God, look, it's like a baby bottle pop. No, it's a ring pop, a ring pop, oh my goodness. 
Here we see some exclusive characters, okay. And then on the other side, we can see all 10 of the different characters. So let's look here. She's really cute. Marshmallows, we have Ring Pop, Cherry Churro. I guess she's a churro. She might be a popsicle. Yeah, the background is popsicles. You know what, let's let's look at them after. Oh my God, there's a donut. <gasps> there's a Cinnabear. I didn't notice the Cinnabear. Okay, I definitely want the Cinnabear. I want this one. Okay, let's let's just let's just move on because I'm like I'm I'm getting nervous and I'm scratching my ear because I'm getting nervous now because I'm excited. All right, so let's start. This is the head. I'm guessing. Okay, this is probably the head. Let's go ahead and open the first wrapper. And it is. Oh my God, that is glittery. Oh no, don't tell me. Oh no, the glitter is not sealed. Look at all the glitter on my fingers. Check this. Yeah, that is definitely not good. Companies, please seal your glitter on your characters and figurines. I am not a fan of this. I like the back, but the front is definitely very glittery. Not a fan, not one bit. So we're going to put her over here. Next surprise is, oh no, no! We have the rest of the body here, but holy shrimp, the glitter is everywhere. I know some of you don't mind the glitter, but this is going to get on everything, which is tiny, mi look at that, tiny microplastics. Check this out. In your sink, in your food, potentially in your eye. If you pick your nose, it's gonna be in your nose. You're gonna have marvelous snot. <laughs> but I'm guessing she's the donut. So far, she looks like a drizzle donut. Let's see. Do we have any other smaller surprises? We have a bigger one and a smaller one here. Let's open this one. And, oh, scissors. Why does this have numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, did they want me to open it like that? I don't know. Okay, let's find out. So we have one, two, like this. Three, four. I'm not sure what's going on here. Is that what they want? Because now I'm going to see what's inside. Oh, that's the body. Wait, so why do I need to cut it that way? I'm not sure. Oh, gross. The legs are also just pure glitter. Oh my god. I do not... Are they posable? No. Oh, yes. Look at that. Okay, so the legs move. Okay, that's, that's a ballet pose, I guess. Okay, that is just glitter. I'm gonna wash my hands after this, but I hate the fact that I have to wash my hands. Voila, so here's the body. And then the next one, I'm guessing this is gonna be the hair. And it is, yeah, it is the hair. Okay, so there's the plastic. That covers the back of the hair. Oh my god, just the glitter. Is it pretty? Absolutely. Is it pretty annoying? Yes, absolutely as well. Holy shrimp. Oh my god. So apparently we're supposed to put the hair the last thing. So let's put the head over here. Like I saw. I don't know why this is giving me Roblox vibes. But here she is. Wait, are we missing? I think she's missing something. And then we're gonna dress her up. How do I dress her up? Wait, maybe the head is supposed to go last. Okay, hang on, let's try this again. I am not a doll person. I'm trying to figure this out. Bear with me here. Let's put this like I saw. Okay. Oh my gosh. I am not a I did not grow up with dolls. I grew up with action figures, ninja turtles, and brothers. Okay? And then my sister came along. <laughs> okay, here we go. Put that in there like I saw and now we can put the hair shove that right there right or am I doing this wrong okay so I think it goes like this is that it does that make sense oh I get it I think I think I get hang on hang on wait which one is she wait what is she not on the list hang on so she has no headpiece but she has long hair so she's not any of these She's not the popsicle one because the dress is different. She's not this one because she doesn't have a drizzle on her hair. I mean her dress, because her dress here has a drizzle. This one doesn't. What? All right, so I checked on the website and it does look like we got this one, even though nothing really looks great on her. I think she's probably the worst one in the set. Okay, so let's remove her hair. And what we're supposed to do is remove this part of the hair, right? Yeah, like so. We take the beads and we put the beads in here because the whole point is to have the beads kind of hanging out where the candy part or the dessert part is. I feel like we got the worst one for the first. Okay, let's open this like so. Oh my god. The beads are cute though. We do have tiny churros. That is neat. I guess we just put them in here. Is this is this what I'm doing? Like so. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh boy. Is this it? Oh my god. I'm just taking a guess here. Voila. We put the hair. Okay, that snapped in pretty easy. Oh what? Wait. We have more space. Hang on, I got you. Oh man, the glitter is so annoying. So annoying. Because it's just scratchy. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Why do I hate these right now? I don't want to hate these. Let's add more. Okay, let's just go ahead and add a few more of these bead things. Ah! Okay. Oh my gosh. There. 
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. There. What a mess. I think the reason I keep dropping them is because I don't want to keep touching anything else. Because I feel like my hands are just full of glitter. Can I close this? Can I close you? Yeah. Okay, here's what it looks like. And now we can put it on our hair. And this is what it looks like. This is very not exciting. But look at all the glitter on my hand. This is not exciting. She is definitely probably the one I would have wanted the least. So I'm going to give her a two on 10. <laughs> all right, you get in here. I'll put you with your beads. And some more beads that I dropped and more beads. There. I really hope not all of them have the glitter. I really hope not. And so far, I still have no idea what to use this for. They said to keep it for later, but I don't know what later is for. The instructions did not instruct. Oh, I understand. There was a second page. So basically, we can fill up the hair with the crushed pieces if we want, which if you tell me is kind of useless, kind of very useless. And then with the remainder of the beads, you can actually make yourself a bracelet if you want. And now that we know what to expect, we can basically speed run through these as best as we can, but we still need to keep that element of surprise. So let's open these up. I'm gonna pick up new scissors. I can't do this. So I went and picked up the scissors from the kitchen, which should have a good pointy tip to cut. What the heck? What are these things made of? There you go, that's better. That is really hard though. Oh, the tape. Okay, let's get you. And yeah, this thing cuts through bone. Just so you know, it's good for chicken bone cutting. And a hammer. And let's see, I think the hearts should be different colors. Okay, so the previous one was pink. Let's double check. Yeah, previous one was pink, so this means we do have a different character. Let's go ahead and smash. There we go. Oh yeah, we have a different one. I don't think we need to smash, to be very honest. <laughs> there we go. It's gonna get messy. Voila. And what are the beads? Oh my god, it's not ice cream. It's definitely waffles. Some kind of waffle. Okay, come on. Oh my god. Everything is a struggle. There we go. And we have one, two, three, four. Did we get four last time, kitty editor, or five? I don't remember. Please don't be glittery. So here's the head. And it is, gotta be the waffle one. No glitter, and she's so pretty. Oh my god, look at her. I love the little stripes on the hair. And we have a cute drizzle. Maybe they put glitter on the other one because she's pretty plain. They're like, we gotta level her up somehow. Yeah, this one's absolutely adorable. I love the design so far. Next, I think this is her outfit. What do you have? Oh my god, you are a cute little ice cream cone. What the shrimp? I love this one so far. And just so you know, these are cheaper than the LOL su surprise dolls. Those are like $20. This is half the price. Okay, and this here has got to be the body. Yes. Yes, this is the body. And they do seem to have all the same kind of pose, which is a kind of ballerina type pose. Let's put the body on. Where's the outfit? No, wait, we do have the outfit. This is going to be the hair. And the hair is... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's so many parts to this. I think these are ice cream scoops. Oh, okay, they go together like this. Kind of, ish. Like this? No. Like this? Yes. Okay, they're little pom-poms. Cute. Let's get her outfit on. Oh no, this is gonna be hard, isn't it? Okay, I got you, girl. I got you. Got you in here. Oh my gosh, come on. And I got you. There, there, there. There you go. Cute. And there's the head. So far, so good. Do they have names? I think they have names. One was like Cherry Churro. This one is... Coco Mint. I thought her name would be like Choco Mint because there's chocolate. So chocolate mint ice cream, right? It's one of my favorite flavors, by the way. All right, so let's go ahead and put the beads in here. And I have to say, the beads are really terrible. I don't like the way that you have to open them this way. It's not convenient. You can't close it back or anything like that. But they are cute beads. Okay. And if you do want to craft, they always give you the little thing there. So I'm going to take these. Put it in here. See, I need to pick up the beads, but there's no easy way for me to do it. I I'm trying to make a space here. Can I put you there? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let's move the bigger beads, because they kind of be in the way. We'll put two of these, we'll put some of this. There, and there they go. A little bit, no, don't fall, no. Yay, I'm free. What is this bead, what, Wait, how did that just happen? Okay, you have no business being here. There you go, close you off, there. Now we have a shaker. Oh, this is kind of like a fidget toy. So it's a fidget crafting mystery box. <laughs> okay, this will go over here. Yes. Cute. Okay, let me make the other one. Ermi, good. This one is definitely adorable and makes up for the previous one. It definitely has a very satisfying shaky feel to it. I like this. 
She's cute. She doesn't have awkward glitter all over her. You can see the scoops of ice cream right on top. And the shaker feels nice. And you can even look at the shaker too. So it's a nice fidget. I'm going to give her as, again, not in general, just within this set, I'm going to give her a solid eight on 10 for this set. And what color are you? Oh, pink. Wait, it's not the same color. This one's like a peachy and this one's a little bit more baby pink. Please make it the cinnamon bear one. It's kind of satisfying though. There. Oh, that is not a cinnamon one, but that is cute. I think that's the one from the box. This one looks like heart candies from Valentine's Day, but I really think this is the mascot. So let's move you. And we have one, two, three, four surprises. So I think they all have four surprises, to be honest. And let's go ahead and start with the head because that's the most interesting part of the characters. And oh, 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 there she is. I have no idea what she is. Wait, are the wrappers supposed to tell us? Oh, I don't know. I probably should have paid attention to the wrappers. Those are cute though. I should have, I probably should have paid attention. You know what, let me check. I don't know. Let's check this one. I think so. I think the wrappers give it away. We'll keep this just in case. So here's the head. Next surprise is going to be her outfit, which will tell us who she is. Oh my God, look at the cake type sprinkles. Oh, that is cute. That is really, really cute. Let's look at the wrapper again. Still don't know. Next is the body. What you got for me? Okay, the body. Oh, that's different toes, actually. The other ones look like they had ballerina shoes, but here she actually has sneakers, but still ballerina pose. And yes, the legs go, wee, I'm flying, wee. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, yes, the arms are posable up and down. They don't have any other points of articulation, so that's as good as it gets. Put these together, voila. And let's get her outfit on. I am not a doll person. <laughs> Like a saw. I like it when there's a lot of leeway here. There you go. Ooh, that is cute. Who are you? Hang on, let's find out who she is. According to the dress. Nope, 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 nope. There she is, Candy Heart. See, I knew that she was familiar. She definitely is the Valentine's Day candies. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. There, oh my arms. So far so good. And I think the hairs are going to be similar to the pom-poms, but kind of like pigtail-esque. I think. Oh, look at that. Very cute. All right, let's put our beads. Okay, the usual, oh my gosh. They need to work on their design for the beads because I just hate having to pull these out. I'm gonna do this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm getting nervous here. How do I open you? Hello? There you go. All right, so let's put a couple of beads and hearts. So far, so good. Like a saw. A few on the other side. Voila. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, should I? <laughs> hang on, I got this. I'm gonna do this. Oh, I put too many. I put too many. Oh no, hell And here we go. Has a nice shake to it. And in the meantime, I went ahead and did the second one. So they have a nice shake. Let's put it on this side. That is cute. Or me good. I still think Coco Mint is made cuter. Look at this. She does some pretty good shaking. I have to say the colors are cute, but they're a little on the dull side. I would love to see a little bit more color saturation. And here's what the back looks like. Still nice. I'm gonna give her a seven on 10. And this one is, oh no, is it a similar? I think this is a similar pink. I kind of want to peek. You know what? Let's not peek. Let's go ahead and smash. I'm gonna smash you. Oh gosh. This is different, right? That's different. That is different. Okay. Yeah, that is definitely a new, this is a donut. Oh, we're getting a donut girl, oh my god. Okay, oh my gosh, just my poor finger. Oh goodness. I honestly... It's so not I honestly don't see a purpose of using these. I mean, we get enough beads, so not sure I would use these. All right, let's take one, two, three, four surprises. And as always, yes. Okay, so the wrappers do show the character. Look at that. It shows that there's a donut character and there's lines so you, you could write things if you want, I guess, and throw it at your colleague who's next to you and be like, take this, I have a note for you. I'm telling you something important, answer. 
Oh, look at that. Now that's what I'm talking about. Here we have some saturated colors, although her cheek is kind of dirty. Girl, why are you dirty faced? Okay, I think we fixed it. And here she is. She does have some sprinkles. I even love the fact that there are two different yellows here. This is going to be her outfit. Oh, yeah. Look at the donut dress. That is an absolutely adorable donut dress. We get a couple of sprinkles and it looks like here we have the frosting or the drizzle. And this is going to be her body. Voila. And for the shoes, it looks like, again, we have a bit of a drizzle effect. Kind of cute. I wish they had different poses because they all just look like ballerina poses. But okay, here's the front. And let's get the dress on like a so. They make these really easy to put together for the most part. So voila, cute. And her head pop in. Nice. I'm actually curious to see what her hair looks like. Oh my God, it is one big donut. Okay, that is cool. I love this. Let's find out her name. I really still want the Cinnabear. I really, really want the Cinnabear. And there she goes, Donna Sprinkles. Very nice. All right, let's open. And let's go ahead and put some of the... I was like gonna say dice, but why was I thinking dice? For some reason I was thinking D&D, but no, it's not dice, it's beats. And here's what they look like. They're very basic, but they're cute. I don't even know if the circles are going to fit in here. Okay, the circles. I know they're donuts. Don't yell at me. Come on. Yes. Take a couple. Let's take one of each. Do you fit? Yes. Okay. Actually, we need to make them face the other way. Like that. And now we can put the tiny ones. Very cute. There's got to be a better way to put these beads in there. Is this good enough? That's nice. Close the back. Let's hear that. It's not full but it gives us a good shake sound. And if you overpack it, you get less of a shake sound. And let's put her hair right on top. Oh my God, look at her. Yeah, I definitely think she's pretty adorable. A nice, good shake. Definitely a good fidget toy. <laughs> and I don't think she can sit very well. Neither of them can, none of them actually can sit very well. Look, you're just gonna sit. That's what they all do. They all sit, so you can't bring her to your office and have her sit down or on your desk or anything like that. She's just gonna be noisy and that's about it. They're cute to collect, but I'll give my final thoughts at the end. This one for this set, I'm going to give a 7.2, because I like the donut. Now, to be clear, I really wanted the Connie Snow. This is the one I actually really, really want. And the Cinnabear. So I'm really hoping that this last one that we're opening is going to be one of the two. Or let's see if it is any of the ones that you wanted at the beginning of the video. So let's put our hands together and pray to the Cinnabods. The Cinnabod gods. <laughs> Mm. Cinnabods. What's a Cinnabod? We have dad bods, we have mom bods. What's a Cinnabod? Let's pray to the secret crush gods. <laughs> Dear secret Cinnabush <laughs> Dear secret crush gods of Evermore, please protect me from doubles, body glitters, and difficult to put outfits. But also, just give me Cinnamon Girl. So let's see what we have in here. Again, pink? Seeing this makes me nervous. All right, let's go ahead and smash. I love the face. It's just like, mm-hmm. You know, you know I'm gonna smash it. Oh, this one's already breaking. What the heck? It's like, it was already ready. Okay. Oh, these are different, but I don't think it's my girl. I don't think it's any of my girls. Are you my girl? I don't think so. Put you down here. So we have the sweets. And the wrapper is going to give us a hint, basically. All right, let's pull you out. Oh my gosh. And we have one, two, three, four. And the first one here is, yeah, that is definitely not, not the ones we want. Looks like we're getting, I think we're getting cotton. No, it's a macaron. Not to be confused with a macaroon. Here's a macaroon on, on your screen. And here's a macaron. Okay, so the macaron is the one that we know that looks like a sandwich. And a macaroon is the little swirly coconutty looking thing. And again, you get another little note. And here is the outfit. I am very low key sad here. Oh, that is a very plain dress. I guess she's supposed to be the inner meringue kind of thing. It's very poofy though. Very Aladdin-esque. This should be the body. Yep, the body. And let's see what the shoes look like. Okay, they're like little ballet type shoes. Let's get her on there. Voila. And this should be her hair. Now I'm really curious what the hair is going to look like on this one. I think it was a macaron, right? Yes, it is. 
voila. So it looks like a cloud. Interesting. I like the shape. So let's get this outfit on. Okay, it's divided into so many different bits, so it should be easy to put right on. Oh no, she has pants. Okay. Actually, she has pants. She's like the only one who has pants. That was like a poofy skirt, but no, they do be divided. In you go. Voila. And the colors are pretty dull. Again, I want to see more saturated colors like this character here. You see the difference? She's more saturated and she's definitely desaturated. Just too pastel. Way too pastel. And how does her hair go? Okay, like that. So let's go ahead and fill it up with the beads. Oh, and by the way, her name is Bonnie Puff. In go the beads. Oh my god. Oh my god. They need a better system. Here they go. Even the beads are desaturated. Oh my god. And we're gonna leave this like this so we can get a good shake out of it. Is there a special way to put you in? Yes. Oh, that is a nice shake. Hear it. Very nice. All right, Bonnie. Here you go. Oh, goodness. Let's hear that. That is a very good shake. Wow, that is too heavy for her head. Kind of plain. I wish there was a little bit more going on with this one, so I'm going to personally give this a 4 on 10 design. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these fives is your favorite, even if we didn't get the one that you wanted. I'm going to say that the Donut Girl and the Chocolate Mint Girl are my two favorites out of the five. The rest I am very meh about. And also let me know what you think. I feel like these are not worth it. Yeah, they're cute, but I, I don't see it for me, personally. Then again, I really don't see the point of the LOL dolls, but then again, that's just me. If you want to watch me review more mystery boxes, make sure you check up here. If you want to watch me do miniature cooking, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you great in the next video.